Club Shay Shay is getting messier and messier. Uh, it's almost like Wendy Williams didn't go anywhere. She just got a weight set. Um, and so Monique was on. Every time I see Monique these days, she's on uh, doing some greasy ass video with her and her daddy complaining about something or working out. I don't know nobody that work out that much and gain weight unless every crunch you do has got capped in the front of it. But apparently she goes on Club Shay Shay and tells the story about how she came on my radio show and I wasn't there at the time. And uh, uh, my co-host Jasmine Sanders played a game that we played all the time with everybody called Would You Rather. She apparently was so offended by that that she said she got off. She called me. Monique did. And she said I was very dismissive. Like, huh? Monique's a liar. When Monique did call me, I heard her, her complaints. I listened to her and I pulled the segment. So if. Hold on. Before we go deeper. Listen, welcome to Little Blackbird Night 1, first and foremost. Number two. This has got personal written all over it between Monique and D.L. Hughley. If you've watched my previous video about these two, um, I mentioned about the fact that last time Monique um, had some gripes and, and, and some, some from frustrations against certain people, Tyler Perry, um, I think someone Daniel, I've his name, someone Daniels, uh, I think it's Lee Daniels, um, you know, uh, Oprah, uh, um, you know, D.L. Hughley, had a few different gripes with a few different black people, right, in the industry. But one of the things that she actually did in one of the videos, which I did a video on, which I felt like was disrespectful on Monique's part, was she mentioned about his kid and his child and talked about how the, the daughter had gone through se sexual violence. And as she had gone through that, she mentioned the fact that D.L. Hughley didn't stand with her. Now, listen, let me tell you this now. There are many fathers and many mothers who don't believe their children when they go through sexual violence. But that information wasn't out to the public. Well, at least not in that format anyway. So for her to bring that out, this is what's making this so personal between D.L. Hughley and Monique right now. But we're going to address that a little bit later on in this video. Before we do, if you want to know more about why D.L. Hughley is cussing out <laughs> Monique and not getting at Cat Williams, I'm going to keep it real simple for you. Cat Williams didn't say anything bad about D.L. Hughley, so why would he talk bad about Cat Williams? Cat Williams was saying no D.L. Hughley slander around here, if I remember correctly. If I've got it wrong, please comment down below in the comment section. I can't remember Cat Williams coming after D.L. Hughley, so he's got nothing to say to Cat. So people asking why he's talking against Monique, it's not just because she's a woman. It's not because she's just a black woman. I think we need to re reduce that angle. This is personal. This is, not a, this is not a normal situation. It's actually personal between the two of them, right? You know, and they have a history as well. So this isn't, in, this isn't just about, uh, she, oh, she's a black woman and he's only speaking because she's a black woman and he don't know how to talk when anything else. No, no, no. But anyway, listen, if you want to find out more in this video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, click on the bell button for notification uploads. We're about to break this all the way down for you guys as well. Um, if you're new to the channel, again, as well, make sure you're liking, you're sharing, you're subscribing, okay? All right, welcome to Mineral Gang, you get me, yeah? And for those of you returnees, you know what it is, baby. You got the minerals, you got the minerals. Listen, let's get the intro going and let's get the show. Little blast. you know what time it is. Show those time. Time. All right, let's get into this and let's uh, break this all the way down. If I had as been as dismissive as she alleges I was, that segment would have aired. It didn't because I respected her wishes. She's a liar. It it's also befuddles the shit out of me how somebody who has a comedian talks as much shit about everybody else as she does. She has the temerity to be offended about anything as much shit as you say about people. Then she encouraged everybody, uh, allegedly it stems from. Now, before we get to the next point, just want to make this very clear. I think when, if I remember correctly, watching the Monique situation, she didn't actually say that he aired it. I think she wasn't she wasn't annoyed about him airing it. She was more about, I think, the initial situation. So the initial the initial uh, 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 infraction against her, which was the game that he mentioned and his dismissiveness. It wasn't about the fact that he didn't take off the segment. It was about your initial behavior. So technically, she hasn't really lied. Um, it seems like she's actually just kind of said that the initial f infraction that you did to me, that's what really hurts. That's what's really killing me right now. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Not that you didn't take off the video, but uh, I have to go watch again and make sure. But I think that's what it was. Again, if I'm wrong, comment down below in the, in the comment section. The fact that I used to always talk shit about her on video after video, and she encouraged her sweet babies to look at the video and find them. Do that. Do exactly what she says. And you know what you're not going to find? You're not going to find any evidence of that because Monique is a fucking liar. She's lying about that. But what you will find is Monique talking shit about some uh, uh, alleged contract dispute we had. Look at the ticket. It says D.L. Hughley, then Monique. She knows the story. But what she did in response to that, she talked about my dog, my wife. This broad 
even brought out my daughter's personal trauma. My daughter was molested and Monique bought that shit out and, t and told the world that I allowed my daughter to be raped in front of me. The lying motherfucker. She knows she was lying. And it so this situation, yeah, it's got personal. Even though I said it's got personal written over it. Sorry about the language. It really has got personal written all over it. Because I'll be honest with you, if somebody brings up, and I've said this in my original video, I said the Monique, where Monique really went wrong is that once you bring that up, now, Monique has been through something similar. So the fact of the matter is, she was calling out Oprah. This is why it's a double standard. She was calling out Oprah for kind of doing a show about uh, about her mother and her father and talking about her own molestation that she had gone through. And she was calling out Oprah quite rightly. So it's a bit of a double standard for Monique to actually uh, have called out about his daughter's molestation and then not really, sorry, I shouldn't say molestation, but um, sexual assault, sexual violence, and not and, and, and not realize how that would have been impacting for the daughter, how that would have been impacting for DL Hughley, and for any of the family members that know her. Like, Monique has been through that, so why was she out that at the time? This was a, a, a few years ago. So, you know, this situation is very personal with um, DL Hughley, and I can understand. And I'm not rushing to try and defend him, and I'm not rushing to defend her. I think he can be. I think he might have been dismissive, and he might have been rude about it, and he might have been disrespectful in terms of the contract situation. And it can also be true that she's also disrespectful, right? And she says some truths about the industry as well. We have to take everything by case by case, rather than trying to blanket it. Like I know that partly maybe the way that Monique goes about certain things. I said this last time. The way she goes about things is a bit of a bulldozer. So when you bulldoze, you have to know you're going to crack and break a few things. And when you crack and break a few things, people are going to be up in arms, right? And in in and realistically. That doesn't mean that I have to now say that Monique is wrong in every situation because she bulldozed things. No, Monique has absolute truths and it's coming to pass. We saw it just over, over months ago when, um, who was talking about it? Taraj P. Henson came out and started speaking about it, right? So clearly there's some truths with uh, Monique, right? But we have to take it case by case that you may be wrong with this situation, but you're right with this situation. It only stopped when everybody from my family checked her. It's interesting. You know what else you won't see? Monique doing, you won't ever see a, her with her family, videos with her children or grandchildren, because nobody fucks with me. How do you have sweet babies when your own babies don't fuck with you? How do, how do you love us for real when there's no evidence of anybody loving you for real, except your daddy, who you apparently have to pay? And FYI, daughters are paid for by daddies, not daddies who get paid by their daughters. Damn, I hope that's not true, because that's a very painful thing. Now, I've watched a little bit of the clip where she spoke about, about the Oprah section and talked about her family, and she didn't want to embarrass her family, of course. I wonder what kind of relationship Monique has with her father. I would definitely have to go and watch the video um, on Club Shay Shay. I'll probably watch it while I'm in the gym. Um, and definitely try to break that down a little bit more as well, because, yes, he's right. No daughter should be paying for their dad, unless, obviously, he's in intensive care, whatever, sick, whatever, you know? But it, on a normal day to day, why is it, you, you, the whole point of having children is that they are dependent upon you? You know, now, of course, we get to an age where they're no longer dependent and they're independent. And it's a, a badge of honor for any child to be as independent as possible where they don't have to ask mommy and daddy. Right. It's, it's a badge of honor for, for a lot of us, especially as black folk. But if you can ask him for something, fantastic, right? But it's just a case of the fact that, yeah, he's right. No daughter should be paying for the dad. And that's giving, it's giving, I'm paying for you to stay in my life. I'm paying for you to be the dad that I need you to be in my life, rather than actually my dad's in my life um, because he loves me and, and he cares about me. You'll never, you know what else you won't see Monique doing? Telling jokes. Monique, uh, if she just spends as much time actually writing jokes and writing her Netflix special as she did complaining about not having one, it wouldn't have been trash. It got the worst reviews of any Netflix special in history. Because that's what Monique does. She complains and she has grievances. You never see her being a human being. You never see her being sweet and warm to people. Except when she's using it to butter somebody up to get something. There's a reason why everywhere she go, shit starts. Everywhere she goes. How is it that nobody fucks with you? Not even your family. How do you? Well, I was on the road getting it. I get it every goddamn week. Look at my schedule versus yours. See how much I'm going. And I still manage to have a relationship that I cherish with my children. Can you say? Now, that is a really good point, right? But that doesn't mean, again, that he's right. It just means that there's another assessment we have to make with Monique in terms of the way that she's interacting with people on a general basis. Is she got poor relationship skills when it comes to family and the person who loves her is the man that she's with, which fantastic, the husband loves her. 
but and they, and then they had an open relationship at one point. I wonder if the trauma and the abuse that uh, Monique has gone through in her childhood really does affect the way that she uh, develops develops attachments with people. Um, I definitely want to go go deeper with Monique. I want to go deeper and go back into her background and just find out a little bit more to be able to make a great a, a greater assessment with that because if if no one messes with you in your own entire family, nobody, right? Then that can be an indication that you might be the problem. It might also be an indication that obviously because you've been molested and you've been sexually assaulted, many people don't want to mess with you because they have to deal with their own guilt and their own trauma that they face by not defending you and not protecting you too, right? But if your children don't mess with you too, that's another situation we have to deal with because your children are somebody who never were involved in that trauma situation. So maybe your trauma has bled onto them and they don't want to be around you. And I don't know actually a situation with children. I wasn't there, and I'm only going by what D.L. Hughley's actually said. We don't know what the relationship is with her and her children. He's just saying what he's saying. Say the same, you can't. Because all you do is talk about your grievances and who did you wrong. There's a reason you're fought by yourself. There's a reason you got to pay a man to love you. It's sad. There's an old adage that says you can't buy love. It's a shame, Monique, that you probably always will have to. Now, when he says pay for it, is he talking about the daddy is in terms of his her husband? Is he taking a make a little bit? I don't know. Please let me know down in the comment section because I, I I guess I missed that part. Whether he meant the joke as in the actual dad or he meant that the you know the daddy is in zaddy as in the husband. Do you know what I mean? But let me know your thoughts down below. I I can get why DL Hugo came for Monique. A lot of people in the comment section are like he's being sassy. He's been a woman, but they've totally forgot the fact that Monique came for him some years back about the daughter situation. Now I'm sure they have grievances before that, but the fact that that got to a point where someone could talk about your daughter's molestation and that wasn't off limits to Monique, that told me that was kind of grimy can't lie to you and, and after that all bets are going to be off you know what i mean um so make sure you guys like share subscribe click on the bell button let me know your thoughts down below Little blast, you know what time it is